It's also got that nice inward cant, but we've, we've chipped off a part of it here to demonstrate what it looks like inside. In case you ever wondered what a prehistoric tooth looked like on the inside, here you go. And this just fits right back on. But if you can zoom in on that, Ron, especially up in this area, it's really got some, some terrific detail right there. Now this is the level of integrity you'll find at the top of the bluff. But when you get down towards the surface level, you find that the teeth have been preserved differently. And here's your attachment base. Here's your specialized cutting tip. And you can see the inward cant to it. This is the outside of the tooth. This is the inside of the tooth. Specialized tip. It's attachment base. Of course, the front side is always going to be different from the back side. Still has traces of its enamel right here. And uh, that's typical of what you find lower down on the bluff. This is an example that's been underwater a lot longer than the top examples. Now, we'll show you, we'll show you more of a full-size tooth. <clears throat> now, here we go. A double attachment base which is typical, and it grows down right to a nice specialized cutting tip. And, and it has enamel still on it right here. And then this is the rear side of the tooth. Now, that's, that's a really good example. Typical, 